So why is pharmaceutical patent protection important? Well, it's important because intellectual property protection encourages innovation, it encourages research and development, it reduces the likelihood of counterfeiting, and it drives economic growth. So in 1994, the TRIPS agreement, the trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights, was established. Prior to that, many developing countries provided very little or even no protection against pharmaceutical patent protected products. TRIPS is administered by the World Trade Organization, negotiated at the Uruguay round of the General Agreement on Tariff and Trades, and the subsequent Doha Declaration on TRIPS allows World Trade Organization members to issue compulsory licenses enabling generic versions of patented medicines to be exported to countries with insufficient or no manufacturing capacity within the pharmaceutical sector. The IFPMA, the International Federation of Pharmaceutical Manufacturers and Associations, has subsequently supported TRIPS and has continued that extension within developed countries. Within the EU, there is some controversy over a central patent protection, which has been proposed and which makes sense, and in fact all countries within the EU are in favour, with the exception of Spain and Italy. However, at the moment the European Court of Justice has declared this to be illegal. The advantage could well be, though, that if this were to happen, if a common EU patent became available, then it's thought that the cost savings within patent protection could reduce by 80%, largely because of the significant translation costs at the moment.